Isn't Cricut Access amazing? For a monthly subscription fee, you get access to over 100,000 different images that you can cut on your Cricut. But even with all of these to choose from, sometimes I still need to upload an image that I find online. Here's an image that I found on one of my favorite sites, Pixabay. For Cricut Design Space to use this image as a cut file, it has to be an SVG file. Right now, this is just a PNG file. So if I were to use this as a cut file, not just a print then cut file, it's going to bring in the image like this silhouette instead of having layered colors. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a PNG or a JPEG image into an SVG file that Cricut will recognize using the free program Inkscape. From Inkscape, the first step you need to do is you need to import your image. I'm just going to use the regular defaults and bring it right in. Now this is still a PNG image. It's not a cuttable file yet. I need to trace the bitmap of this image. So go to Path, Trace Bitmap. This opens up another window. You want to choose multiple scans and choose colors. The number of colors that you have are the number of colors in your image plus the background color. So this would be pink, black, and the background. So three colors. So I'm going to set this at three. Make sure you turn on stack and remove background. You can leave the rest of the defaults as they are. I'll hit update to see a preview. That looks good. So then I click OK. And I can close this window. At first glance, it doesn't look like much has happened here. It looks just the same. But if you look over here on this side panel, in the Objects dock, you have the image that we imported, and you also have a group of paths. You have two things here. They're right on top of each other, so you can't see both of them. There, that one's the image. And I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. The next step is to ungroup this group. So you go to Object, Ungroup. Now I have two things. I have the pink and I have the black. They're in the wrong order here, so I want to swap them around. And I'll line them up better. There we go. That's really all there is to it. You just have to import your PNG file, go to Path, Trace Bitmap, then get rid of the original image, and ungroup the objects that are left. Now save it, and then you can go to Cricut Design Space and upload it. When you insert your uploaded file, you'll see that it comes in as a cut file with two layers, your black and your pink. That's all there is to it. 